hello everyone today i am going to discuss the things related to the rigid payment the final video okay i, I hope you have watched the once first part first and second videos this is the third video uh, it's a continuation okay so once we have done that uh, slab design means uh, just uh, calculated the traffic thing okay, for fatigue analysis you have to switch to the table one okay so first thing is uh, this we have done in earlier itself here in this excel data itself see here this data should be arranged like this okay front steering how much percentage rear single how much percentage then tandem how much tridem how much the percentage of uh, uh, category we have to do then that should be multiplied with the whatever the calculated traffic nothing but axle traffic for bottom up cracking and then top up top down cracking so it is 0.48 into this data 10 into 581 okay so that you have to do here see it is around uh, 5 lakh okay no sorry 50 lakhs 50 lakhs 49000 so then is 22 lakhs then 31 lakh so total 1 crore okay 1 crore 5 lakh 81000 so that you have to do okay for category wise you have to bifurcate okay then similarly for top down cracking for that same percentage but that uh, traffic should be different so from the slab design sheet you will get this this 87 lakh okay so that should be multiplied with the each category that's what we have done okay in this sheet okay so then once this is done stable one you have to sh shift to the table two in table two nothing but axillode spectrum what i said what we have prepared here that should be arranged in a percentage the same data you have to keep it in a separate table because it it makes uh, calculations easier and, um, and uh, no uh, links will be in a uh, simple manner otherwise uh, what happens confusion may occur so in this we have arranged the percentage wise uh, load group how much percentage in this range for single axle tandem axle and tridem axle okay these three are the main categories for rigid payment so how much percentage so mostly here it starts 165 to 175 okay once this percentage wise data has been arranged we need to calculate the separately for top down cracking and bottom up cracking so for both for both purpose you have to do separately so first thing is this category wise uh, axils then percentage of uh, frequency so frequency percentage for each uh, load group in a single axle tandem axle and tridem axles once this is done you have to go to the table 3 sheet see here cumulative fatigue analysis for bottom up cracking okay for bottom up cracking uh, just have a means uh, please listen carefully so in this uh, uh, there are some formulas okay so and expected repetitions you have to calculate how we are going to calculate the expected repetitions just nothing but whatever the data from this table one means this for single axle this is around 50 lakh 50 lakh into percentage how much percentage in this category zero so there will be empty okay that's it so that you have to do multiplied by this 50 lakh into this zero divided by 100 okay that's it so like this you have to calculate the expected repetitions okay expected once you have done the expected repetitions you have to go for the flexural stress flexural stress there is a formula for flexural stress in irc 58 so that that only we have included here can you see i'll show you that go to yeah Hmm. Hmm. See. 
expression of maximum tensile stress at the bottom of the slab for bottom up cracking case how much if k value is 150 means that modulus of subgrade reaction uh, it is 150 greater than 150 so this formula we have to use 0.042 plus 3.6 into gamma h square by kl square plus 1 um, divided by 1.62 plus ph by kl power 4 plus 0 0.0522 this is not divided plus only so this formula we have incorporated in excel directly okay so what they did for calculating the fragile stress see 0 0.042 3 0.6 into that gamma h cubed gamma h square divided by uh, what is that kl square okay that only they have included so we are getting 3.571 okay so expected repetitions we got how this from this 50 lakhs to frequency zero percentage so that's why it is empty okay so then once the flexural stress calculated we need to calculate the stress ratio first stress ratio what you have to do this b11 divided by j48 j48 this is flexural stress due to load and we need to divide it with the flexural stress of concrete that is j48 in j48 nothing but you see it's 90 day flexural strength of concrete that is around 4.95 so that stress ratio you have to calculate so whatever the stress creating due to the load divided by the concrete okay so you are getting around 0 0.721 so similarly you have to do for all okay like this for each category okay once this is done you have to do for the allowable repetitions this is the important step allowable repetitions still there is a formula to calculate the allowable repetitions this is the expected repetitions based on the axial load survey data and allowable repetitions okay for that there is a formula you can go at the top of the code book yes can you see oh not here hmm. Up, up yes here fatigue behavior of cement concrete okay if when stress ratio is less than 4.45 so you have to n equal to unlimited okay if if it is between 0.45 to 0.55 then you have to use this formula okay if stress ratio is greater than 0.55 you have to use this formula okay this is nothing but allowable repetitions you are calculating okay so allowable repetitions is this much 1059 okay for a 0 0.721 stress ratio so if it is 0 0.45 stress ratio uh, you can allow unlimited number of axles that's the meaning okay so you have to calculate the allowable repetitions once this is done you have to do you have to calculate the fatigue damage okay so in fatigue damage what is that so uh, whatever the expected repetitions divided by the allowable repetitions here it is empty because there is uh, no vehicle in this particular range 265 to 275 that's why it is zero okay so uh, so fatigue damage also zero because no vehicle in that range so like this you have to calculate here it is around 0.110 because 6258 is the expected repetitions in the 30 years but allowable is how much 56981 so st stress ratio is 0.110 okay so that's thing you have to calculate so how much 0.133 this is due to what single axle okay please remember for bottom up cracking we have to do only for these two categories okay rear single and rear tanding if you do the analysis only for these two it is enough no need to calculate for the tridom for uh, bottom up cracking okay so first step expected repetitions then flexural stress then stress ratio whatever the stress due to load divided by the concrete 
abstract with the stress. Then allowable repetitions from the formula with respect to the stress ratio. Okay. Then fatigue damage. This this divided by this. Okay. Once the fatigue damage is calculated, we need to submit. Okay. That is fatigue damage from single axles. So similar analysis for the tandem axles. The only thing will will change here this part this in table one this thing this 31 31 lakh sorry i i did a mistake we need to for to with this 22 lakh okay for uh, this single axles no there is no need to do analysis for the front front axles okay so that's why the summation is 22 5 to 7 5 9 okay you can check it out here see the same value okay so once this is done trier tandem also similarly you have to do okay what flex spectral repetitions and then flexural stress after that flexural stress formula will vary in the same only formula will get vary Yes. Tandem axles. Can you see? Spine two one zero. Okay. So can you see minus point two one. Okay. Three point eight eight. The same formula. Flexural stress you have to calculate, then stress ratio, then allowable repetitions, same formula. Whatever we have used, same type of formula. Okay. So then fatigue damage due to this rear tandem type okay so once this is done you have to sum it up so now bottom up cracking how much 0.133 plus 0.381 okay just remember so now once you have done the analysis for the bottom up cracking you have to carry out the for the top down cracking in top down cracking you have to do for all rear single rear tandem or rear tridem these three you have to use but same analysis only thing will vary is this 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 traffic one is 18 lakh 26 lakh okay 77,000 okay so this thing will vary remaining all will same okay in table 4 go to expected repetitions calculations how much percentage is there in this range so this zero 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 so no issue here zero here only it will start around 0.28 okay so how much so expected repetitions then flexural stress same different formula uh, may use for top down cracking this is the formula 0.219 okay that's it then allowable repetitions you have to calculate the same what we have done then fatigue damage due to the um, this expected repetitions divided by the allowable repetitions that you have to sum it up when similarly for rear tandem okay and then rear tridem okay you have to sum it up the value so how much 0.462 0.021 so in table 5 we have just did summation cfd cumulative fatigue damage analysis for bottom up cracking case it is around 0 0.133 0 0.381 so how much 0 0.1514 so similarly here 0 0.483 it is around 0 0.997 so it is less than 1 so it is safe that check you have to do okay so that's that's it that's is the analysis part okay so i'll i'll repeat uh, at the end okay so once this is done you have to do the double bar design this is just basic design okay in this table just you have to check the percentage of flow transfer okay so and then uh, place a distance this is assumed value okay so then you have to calculate the first thing you have to find out the permissible bearing stress in concrete okay using this formula 
okay in this car formula itself you will get that uh, uh, concrete details okay permissible bearing stress in concrete that you have to check with the bearing stress in the double bar okay it is around 25.929 but allowable is 26.709 so the double bar spacing and diameter assumed are safe just simple analysis you have to check the spacing and uh, percentage of load that's it these two are the main values and diameter whatever the diameter you are providing whether that is uh, capable of bearing that uh, load or not okay that's it okay this is double bar and tie bar also similar pattern okay here we need to find out the mainly spacing spacing of tie bars okay uh, that's it the guys so uh, i want to conclude that first thing we need to be careful about the axial load data okay okay then cvc data whatever the day, uh, day wise traffic and night time traffic and then this uh, adt in both direction only commercial vehicles that should be multiplied and uh, you, you will get the commercial vehicles during design period these are vehicles only after that you have to calculate the vehicles means axles axles for this you have to uh, understand this okay daytime traffic night time traffic and uh, in the conclusion you can get the total number of axles for the bottom up cracking and top down cracking these two are very important based on this only we are we have to calculate the uh, this analysis table 3 and table 4 okay so once this is done table 1 just arrange the percentage wise then multiply with the frequency you will get the expected repetitions then flexural stress after the stress ratio all are the provided in the irc 58 just go through that and uh, this excel sheet also prepared based on that only okay so then um, once we will get the repetitions allowable repetitions after that fatigue damage then submit up the whatever the damage due to category wise rear single rear tandem that you have to prepare in this table can you see so total is how much 0.997 if it is less than one it is safe okay so that's it guys i hope you like the video okay guys please subscribe uh, it's almost 800 i have i reach so uh, please subscribe and share with your mtech friends and um, btech uh, friends who are doing the civil engineering okay and uh, please suggest some uh, topics so that i can make a videos okay thank you guys